Well, good day, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Project Hospital, where we are here with our hospitalization in the orthopedic department. Um, hospitalization is finally here. Yeah, surgeries are here. Uh, new incoming patients probably going to be here. Um, hopefully, we have money that will be coming here. Uh, right now, we're in a little bit of a 20% patients got to go to a different hospital decline, but it will fix itself out here. Now, where do I see ourselves in this episode? Really, uh, this is probably one of the, like one of the episodes I'm like most nervous about, right? The reason why is oh, by the way, I did not hire a sonog sonograph. Yes, I didn't hire one of these people either. So let's go ahead and hire one of these people real quick. I guess the USG is where I want to go. Probably no perks for Nancy Williams. Very, very much a vanilla, and I like that. Get hired. Anyways, yeah, so I'm a little scared for today's episode. Uh, it's because I have like a feel. This is like the point of the, the like point of, a point in the series where I feel like we have like no direction. Um, and I know there's like purchase two ambulances, enable hospitalization for emergency, enable hospitalization at its ICU. You know, there's all these different things that we can work towards, but money wise, right? Money wise, are we gonna be able to do it? You know, I'm I don't know. I I have no idea. I just gotta hope for the best and really pick out what to do first. Now, <clears throat> purchasing ambulances. What's the point? There's no point, I don't think, to. I mean, look, I know there's a point to ambulances, right? Ambulances, great point. What I mean by that is, I don't think there's a point right now for us to purchase ambulances because I think we won't need or we won't get any use out of them until we have emergency hospitalization hospitalization i could be wrong about this though i could be wrong about this because um maybe just maybe uh up here the orthopedics right the orthopedics hospitalization maybe they can bring in people that need to come from an ambulance i i, I doubt it <laughs> i doubt it i find that as trauma center i find that as icu this is just like if somebody has a bad knee and they need to go get some surgery done, right? For instance, what do we got going on here? What, who is this, and why are they here? Thomas Wilson, they have a uh, an acute osteomyelitis, <laughs> thirty seven hundred dollars. Though that's pretty good. Yeah, so he has that, and he's gonna stay here for a couple of days, right? Uh, money wise, what are we looking at, money wise? I mean, the money is coming in, I think, right? Potentially, I think I want to add a gift shop here. I think a gift shop there would look cute, right? It'd be kind of cool, right? Um, over here, more high dependency units is going to happen. Now, it's very interesting. This guy did go to surgery, but he does not need to stay in a high dependent uh, unit. I wonder why. Oh. 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 What, what is he doing now? Wait a sec. Hang on. What is he doing now? What, what, what is he doing there? What, what is this? What is this? Hello? What room is that? Oh, that's a new person. Oh, who is that then? Jordan Hill. Deep wound on the hand. Okay. Right. We're going to need more rooms, right? We're going to need more rooms eventually, I feel like. Just because there's going to be a little bit of a bottleneck, right? A little bit of a bottleneck where um, you, you're going to have more... What is it? More, more people in bed, you know? And then when you have more people in bed, they're going to stay here longer and then it's... It, you know, it's going to back up a little bit. So we're going to probably need more bedrooms and stuff like that. Now, one thing to look at here, we didn't make that much money. We really didn't make that much money. After wages and everything, there's nothing here to really boast about. $12,000, I guess, is, is is good. But, like, uh, insurance hospitalizations, this is kind of interesting. Seven grand, seven grand for orthopedic. Wages in hospitalization, almost 3000 So overall in hospitalization for orthopedics, we're making $5,000. Yeah, $5,000. Okay, that's something, I guess. Back to normal on our patients. That's good. Um, we just have a lot of, like, money being spent elsewhere. Radiology. Radiology in wages is crazy. Uh-oh. Complicated diagnostics here. Oh, shoot. What's going on here? So, a patient who has some back pain. This is a night shift, right? Yeah, this is the night shift. Male, 69. Giggity. Uh, X-ray back. Yeah. We probably would like that, right? Available examination. Triage in the reception here. What does that mean? Receptionists can assign at a higher priority to the patient based on their symptoms. Okay. Is that like a type of 
type of receptionist, like a skilled base, like triage. I feel like that is. Um, he has back pain, so I mean, giving him a X-ray in the back seems normal, right? Let's see here. I oh, he's in the emergency department. Can I switch him over? Is there? Uh, we do we have an orthopedic at night? We do have an orthopedic at night. Um, uh, yeah, you have an orthopedic at night, Sarah. She's coming in though. So just like give it a sec. I'm gonna switch him over to orthopedics. See if that helps. In the meantime, he's gonna go take a back X-ray until Sarah gets here because she's a, I think she's a long commuter, so it takes her a while to even get back. Let's see what this guy's all about. Okay, yeah, scoliosis. Uh, we found out it's scoliosis. Okay, great. And now I just sent him into there. <laughs> Hopefully they can, I mean, yeah, you should be able to treat scoliosis, no problem. Okay, yeah, great. $360, get your medication, $20 out the door. Easiest complication we've ever figured out. <laughs> I don't know why we had trouble there, but apparently our, our people were like, nope, can't do it. Ain't happening, right? Ain't, ain't, ain't freaking happening. Um, anyways. So, uh, yeah, um, anybody upstairs, let's see, anybody upstairs and anybody in the visitation center, nobody's in the visitation center at all, everybody up here is for the most part, what the hell, you just walked in here and sat down, who the hell are you, shoulder dislocation, right, joint arm, um, okay, so we have four people up here, we have four people, we have like $2,000, right, what was it, like $2,500 there, $3,400 there, $720 there, and $3,700 there. Like, this is potentially, like, a 12, maybe a little bit less than $12,000 room here. Just in these four patients. I mean, it's cool. It's cool, right? But if we could hire, if, not if we can hire more, but if we could bring in more of these, maybe with the more beds and more rooms, that would probably be a little bit better. Yeah? Yeah? But we're hoping. We have to bank on it. Really, we have to bank on, uh-oh. Can't be fully treated. Treatment for patients and diagnostics is available. Joint surgery, leg, make it work quickly. The patient is ready to leave. Okay, hang on, Jessica. What the hell are you talking about? Knee dislocation? What's going on here, sweetheart? Do you need surgery? Do you need surgery? Out of place, knee. I'm starting to feel like nighttime surgery is not a bad way to go here. Let's be honest. $3,300. Okay. I think what's happening here is she doesn't have a room. She doesn't have anywhere to go. Uh, this is the problem, right? This is the problem that I was just talking about like half a second ago. Okay, we're gonna go there and we're gonna pause. And we're gonna go upstairs. And she's like, oh, you don't have a room for me. I'm upset. Yeah, yeah you should be upset. So orthopedics, no, prefab. And so if I, what I'm thinking here is if I, like, again, hiring a whole new crew, right? A whole new night crew, all new wages and, and, and things like that. If I hire another night crew here to work surgery, it will alleviate uh, this these rooms, right? Because then they'll go into HDU. Once they go into HDU, they'll recover and they'll be out, right? So this is already kind of like getting a little tricky here. How much is a regular ward? $7,100. God, slap my ass and call me Sally. Great. Uh, $13,000 for that and $4,500 for that. Okay, so... Uh, you, um, right. Uh, <laughs> I would love to have this. I don't have enough money for this, but I would love to have it regardless. So will you just like, let me have that? Oh, you're the greatest of all time. Thank you so much, sweetheart. <laughs> okay. All right. So now we have additional, right? Additional beds. Okay. Okay. So now we have one night that's going to, or one nurse or so going to be working this entire thing at night. Okay. So now with that being said, let's see, go downstairs. Does this put Jessica into a, a state where, yeah, you could be now, Shifted upstairs. Available treatments. HDU hospitalization. Regular hospitalization. Regular. So we can give her regular hospital hospitalization. And then we would love for her to have surgery to fix this. Honestly, the drugs. Yeah, you can give it to her, but she's going to be hospitalized right now. So we're going to take her upstairs. I think I'm doing this correctly. I don't know. I could be doing this incorrectly. Okay, she's upstairs. Okay, she's upstairs. Wonderful. She's going to go into bed and do that. Okay, it's starting to become day shift. Yeah, day shift's going to come on. A lot of patients need a lot of surgery. Except for, I think there's one patient that already had surgery, but he's not in the HDU. He's, he's in here. I think he already had surgery. Possibly. Tranquilizer. Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> All right. Where are you going? Okay, you're getting a drink. You're going to the bathroom. Um, right. She's being checked on. Okay, now she's be taken out because she needs joint, you know, her joint surgery taken care of. Like, you know, take care of her knee. Sorry. What are you guys waiting on? Are you guys all done? Are you guys waiting on also a closure? Yeah, you're looking on more too. Jordan, I almost called you Jonah Hill. Uh, Jordan Hall, what exactly? Like, okay, top priority, right? Whoever's first priority, send them in. This is a full day of surgeries, right? It should be a full day of surgeries. Yeah. And then everything else below. Uh oh, did she get? Did she do good? Hey, okay, yeah. Did she do good? Knee dislocation. $3,300 swelling now all she needs to do is really um, She's gonna go to the bathroom rightfully so now all she needs to do really is just simply Just be it just like hey, you know what? Rest and then you get to go home, right? Okay, another person having surgery which who was this this was Thomas white. No, sorry That's not Thomas white. This was Christopher Hill who is in for the shoulder dislocation. Okay now he's done He's wrapped up He's been putting away. Okay, next person, right? Possibly. I don't know. All right. Hey, you know what? I think we just... D Did we finish? I think we finished... Uh, what's her face? That fast. The... the No, she's right there. Jessica. Yeah, she's right there. Okay, I thought we finished her fast. I was like, wow, that was, that was quick. Nope. Ain't the case. I love how they get different beds. Like, they go and get surgery, and they're like, all right, put you in a different room, right? Okay, next guy. Who do we have here? Okay, never click on Thomas White again, please. Stop with the Thomas White. Okay, John Green. No, god damn it. Who do we have here? Who do we have under the... Okay, Rachel. Shaft fracture, fracture of the clavicle. Okay. $3,400. Yeah, th this is money up here, boys and girls. This is absolutely money. Um, and money has actually happened downstairs. Like, regardless of what's happening up here, downstairs is, is functioning. So that's good. No visitations, though. This is kind of interesting. I'm not finding any visitors or any, like, any at all. And I, I think it's highly to do to um, uh, what we have going on here. Orthopedics. Orthopedics hospitalization is not, like, a, a, a big deal, right? People, like, you don't need to have family that much, you know, when you're getting your hip done or your, your knee done, whatever it is. Now, take a look at this. HDU is now filled up, right? We have a filled up HDU, which uh, I, I, I want to bring in another. So just in case, right? There we go. There we go. Perfect. Send it. Great job. It's money spent, but I think it's money well spent. Really, I think it is. Okay, now go. Okay, how are we doing? How are we doing? I think we're doing all right. Is this... Oh, visiting hours. Yeah. Okay, there's a visitor. And the <laughs> person left. Hey, there's another visitor. Okay, you know what? I'm starting to feel like a gift shop's a great idea. Great idea in theory. Bad idea logistically uh what do i mean by that terrible idea for for more expenditures can we even make a profit out of this i, I have no idea um do i dare do that or do i do i dare do a prefab how much is a prefab gift shop uh thirty five hundred dollars really wow wow you're really playing hardball aren't you there game um and the gift shop goes that way Oh, okay. That's not bad. All right, I, I can deal with that. Yeah, I can deal with that. That's that's okay. There we go. Okay, we have a gift shop. Now, we have to have somebody to run the gift shop. Who is a gift shop vendor? 33% Carl... Uh, sorry, not Carl Johnson. Carol Johnson. I don't know what your two hidden perks are, nor do I, do I need to care. Get hired. Only a daytime. We do not need a nighttime... <laughs> don't need a nighttime gift shopper. Now let's see here. Let's 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 analyze this. I'm I'm just curious, like out of curiosity. I want to see how this works. Visitor? Nope. Okay, visitor just left. All right. Well, there's strike one on us. I just want to see the gift shop in motion, and I want to see what exactly and if how much we can earn from it. I think in the stage that we're at now, we're probably not going to be earning a lot from it at all. Now, I do want to make sure that this is the last room that I put right here. And I'm going to make a hallway going out here. Like, kind of, like, break this up so that I can use this space in the future as well. I'm thinking about putting a bathroom in this tiny, tiny, tiny little hallway here. 
just so these people in this room don't have to like walk all the way over there right uh, and even these people don't have to walk all the way over there now these people they definitely have to walk but if they're in hdu let's be honest they're probably not walking anywhere uh jordan harris what the hell is your problem okay tapeworm right we, we, we we've dealt with this harris we we know about this harris um you need to like go get a sample like please can we have a second opinion here can we have a second opinion michael foster jump on this please before you leave he's probably gonna leave though he's probably gonna leave not the patient but the doctor yeah the doctor yeah they just left him high and dry <laughs> look at him he's just standing there okay uh no no, talk to uh, James. Or, yeah, James. Talk to James now. Talk to James. Talk to James. Go talk to James. He's leaving. He left. All right, whatever, dude. Jesus Christ. So damn picky. Yeah, let's go back up. All right, so now the day shift left. We spent, you know, that much money. We have like $9,000 as it is. Or sure. no daytime or no nighttime gift shop. These people are going to get done. They're going to be bringing us a lot of cash here sooner or later. Um, it just takes a time. That's the only thing about hospitalization is that it just takes time uh, to get these patients and get this money in, right? Maybe it's for orthopedics. Maybe in other cases it wouldn't be like this long. But, you know, it's all right. It's okay. It really is. It's fine. Um, I guess through the night here, I'm going to sit up here and I'm going to try to contemplate and try to think about what, what our next option is. Internal medicine is something we can think about. Really, it is. Um... You know, it's an office, right? It's an office that more people will come to. I don't know if you make more money with in, with internal medicine, but you might make more money than average, potentially. I don't know. I'm thinking about getting internal medicine in here. Now, if I were to get internal medicine, it's holiday time. A lot of people are leaving the city. So, God damn it, 10% less again. Um, I haven't even been able to use my, like, full advantage of, like, my, my patient increase, right? Yikes. Okay. Hmm. I'm interested. I'm interested in internal med internal medicine. I really am. I could set up like internal medicine over here. Now I know what I've, I I've I've said this so many times about different kinds of areas where to put things in this specific location. Like I've rattled off so many things that we could potentially do for this spot. Internal medicine, though. Doesn't seem too far out of way, out of at, like too far out of fetch. And the reason why is is simple. I think because the front of the hospital is here, you're gonna be assigned to internal medicine, which is right here, which is not that far away, right? I mean, we do have to build the reception, I guess, for this too, right? Yeah. I guess, yeah. You know, I you know I'm gonna do it. I I I I. I don't know if I want to do it. <laughs> um, let's look at this. Let's look at prefab internal medicine. Just something we we haven't looked at. So a six by six clinic. Are you crazy? Five thousand dollars. What are we looking at here? Looks like a regular doctor's office. Nothing too big. No big deal. On call room. That scares the crap out of me. Regular ward. Okay, so this has hospitalization all with it too. Interesting. Special special procedure and cardiology or cardiography. Uh, unit indeed interesting indeed i don't feel like this is a right move i have a hunch this is not the right move i did it i did it i i, I did it i did it i actually did it i i don't feel like this is the right move though but i gotta take a risk here right i, I gotta start trying to to bring in more revenue i know you gotta spend money to make money right i get it but uh where we're at i don't know if all <laughs> if all of that is completely true um <laughs> don't spend money to make money yeah look at how dirty this place is why can't we have a, a janitor in here like this is a high traffic area my man my good man get your ass in here clean up the pharmacy please management no get your ass over here clean this up Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to start enclosing this off. We're going to start making this, I don't know, an actual hospital over here. So we're going to go here. We're going to go around. It is officially inside. Now, the thing about this location that we have here is that we could, if we want, 
make its own little entrances over here. You know, anybody coming in for internal medicine, bam, you can come here. You can skip the line over here, right? Is there enough room to do? Um, there's enough room over here to do uh, receptions and all that and, and whatnot. You can even put two offices over here too. 480? Send me, dude. Okay. I mean, here we go, right? Let, let's look into it. Let's look into it. So Patricia Green. Advanced Diagnostics. Uh, Patricia's really good. Diagnostic genius and a hard worker who's a female specialist. Salary is out of freaking control. Um, yeah, I mean, you're expensive, but you're the best. So let's, let's get you in here. Waiting room now. Um, very simple. Where do we put the waiting room? We put it right over here and it's going to, going to go like somewhat across the hallway here. Kind of put the like waiting room there reception. Do I dare need to add a reception? I don't know if I do necessarily right now i i don't know i really don't um i don't even like how that looks that looks terrible give me a better waiting room than that right um yeah let's see here this is i know what you're thinking you're like wow you did so good like the last few episodes now you're just like an idiot i feel you <laughs> I feel you, dog. <laughs> or <laughs> I feel you. Trust me, I do. <laughs> All right, we'll just let time pass for right now. I did hire her. I, I did hire her prematurely. I'll be the first to say that. That was a little premature, was it not? Because now I have to pay her for doing absolutely jack-ish. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hopefully, we make just a little bit of positive money here. We're gonna spend a lot of money on wages here in a sec. We're gonna go even deeper. Uh, sorry, what? Uh, Mitch, mitral valve prolapse. Pardon me. This is a cardio. Yeah, you should be in cardiology, my man. Go. What the hell are you doing? Get to cardiology right now. Where are you, Paul? Paul, go. Paul, or sorry, David Lee, go into Paul. Paul wants you. Thank you, Jesus. Go get treated out. Thank you. Not eight eighty. Yeah. My lord. My lord. Look at all these people coming in for pharmacy. We might need another pharmacy too. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, baby. That's all I got to say. Maybe, baby. Okay, we have plenty of money now. Let's finish this off. Let's round this off here. Uh, we definitely want a bench. Obviously. A couple of benches. How many benches though? We'll put a TV. Oh, sorry. Sorry. We'll put a TV right here. And we'll put a queue right there. And we'll put a nice water vending jug right there. And then we'll put a water jug if we can to somewhere. Well, you know what? The water jug's right there. It's fine. Okay. So we have reception. Or sorry. We have a waiting room. Right? Yeah. We have a waiting room. This should be... Uh, this. No, no, no. No, no, no. This, this is our waiting room right here. This, this is it. I, I promise you. This is actually our waiting room. What, what's wrong here? What's wrong? This is it. No, no, no. Hey, this is actually it. This is our waiting room. Yeah, this is our waiting room. Did I accidentally zone it wrong? Oh, it's not accessible. I'm an idiot. Okay, yeah. We're all good. We're good. We're good. Okay. So, free accessible area here. We'll free it up. There we go. There we go. Okay. Now, it's all free to go. And then, boom. Okay. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and add another door over here. So that it could be an exit type thing. It's going to be more of a of an intimate type door, I think. Not like a, oh, bam, big, uh, you know, big, big double door. No, it's not really going to be that. It's going to be like, oh, yeah, you pull into it. Well, this is not their parking lot. This is the ambulance parking lot. You know what? Just off the side of the street, I guess. Yeah. <sighs> I hate how big this is. I really do. But. I mean, I could do like a simple like glass door. Or a glass double door. You know, a glass double door. I'm not even upset about that. Okay, right. Let's see this thing in action now. Let's see what happens. Will will we get more money with uh, internal medicine? Will these pay out better? I don't know. This is all testing out, right? But here we are. 
Somebody's going to be waiting for... Oh, okay. Now everyone's going to use this side entrance, aren't they? Sons of bitches. <laughs> use the front door. It's fine. I'm not... It's 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 all good. It's I'm, I'm not stressing about it. Upstairs. How's this going? I got to see how this is how this is going. HDU, good. Uh, regular wards, good. Empty places up here. That's good to see. Uh, people having surgery. Also, double good to see. Come back down here. Just to check. Do we have anybody in internal medicine? I am. I don't know if there's a short terminology for I am. No. Oh, I keep. Well, I see people walk through here, and I'm like, yes, they're going to sit down, and we're going to figure out what's wrong with them. And they just don't come. I think what happens is... Oh, my God. Never mind. Hang on. Hey, 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 hey. Mark Davis. How you doing, Mark Davis? Um, You could have a number of anything. Okay, so let's see this. Let's see how this diagnostics go down. Should probably also think about putting a whiteboard in there. Yeah, F. I feel you on that one, brother. Whiteboard. Great job. Okay, okay, okay. Now, here we go. Let's watch this. Okay. What is this? Uh, default patient slash controlled by player favorite patient. Controlled by doctors. Okay. We found out that his cellulitis. Cellulitis gives $240. The bacterial infection of the skin caused mostly by uh, streptoc streptokio. <laughs> streptokio. By Staphylocio. Okay. You have cellulitis, man. 240 bucks. Pay up. I mean, it's all right, right? Oh, wow. Did he spend $400 on medicine? I don't know. Did that increase our pharmacy sales? Does internal medicine, it's an easy treatment, but does it give us like a really good um, prescription base? I, I, I should really look into that even more. All right. Well, hey, we, you know, we, we had our first one come in and we have room for, for a second doctor's office in case things get spicy over here. Okay, here we go. Ne next person. What do we have? Diabetes. Okay. It's terrible. I'm sorry. $480? Insulin therapy? Okay. Wait a sec. Whoa, 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 whoa. 100 miles an hour. Okay. Insulin. Now, she's going to go to the pharmacy, yeah? Hey, subscriber. Hey. No Noel, 9221. Thank you for the subscription. Appreciate that. Thank you, Noel. Um, okay. I mean, diabetes, 420 bucks. F, right? F. Sure. <laughs> sure. I'm in it. How are we doing up here? Everybody else in it up here? We have visitation going on up here. Will visitation lead to a gift? Never does. It never does. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come over here and do a little bit of modification. Uh, we're going to stick in orthopedics. Orthopedics. And we're going to make this a d d d d d d restroom. This is going to be a restroom. It's going to be a very awkward restroom indeed. Um, and I don't know if this is going to be a permanent solution or a temporary solution. I'm hoping possibly temporarily. <laughs> uh, okay. So let's see here. Let's go there and let's go through here. What can I freaking fit in this room? Uh trash bin hand dryer a lab sink i mean is it wrong to just make it a single bathroom like a nice private like what if this is like a big like you know those big stall room handicap bathrooms let's do that dude why not let's get funky with it hand dryer sure Anything else? You want a trash bin as well? Let's do a trash bin. Um. Yeah, you want a mirror? Here's a mirror. Okay, mirror blocked. Right. There you go. There's a mirror. Yeah, and then this is a boat. <laughs> this is going to be so funny. This is a bathroom that is accessible from both sides. <laughs> So imagine going into the bathroom and you having to use a public bathroom in the first place, right? But you go into the bathroom to find out that you have to lock two doors, not just one door, but two doors, right? That's got actually kind of funny. 
Okay. Um, I'm going to kind of like just get a little cute with it now. Um, I'm going to kind of just like round this out over here. And then I'm going to fix up the wallpaper on this side. Right? Yeah, I'm going to fix up the wallpaper on this side. I haven't made it like green. I've, I've stuck with the white walls. And the reason why I've stuck with the white walls is because usually you go into a hospital and they have white walls anyways. So just keep it that way, maybe. I don't know. Okay, there we go. Now, back down here, let's go ahead and do something. Let's do like windows with blinds, like a nice window couple windows there yeah and then over here let's add if we can potentially like um i don't know something fun like like or maybe not even fun it doesn't have to be fun like a, but like a nice like a couch and um and uh and a coffee vending machine and a what else can you throw in there something you know just to have um, just a relax, relaxing spot, I guess, is, is what I'm trying to get at here. T-shirt stand. No, uh, no, but maybe like a water dispenser, something like that, you know, kind of at the end of the hallway type thing. And then you can like chill out, you know, look out the window and, and, and so on and so forth. Yeah, I think that's all right. Go, go. Cool. So the whole point of this bathroom was to alleviate them from walking so far away. Uh, there we go. It's a weird bathroom. It's not a, uh, it's not a common practice bathroom. But hey, hey, that guy actually used the coffee machine. What the hell? No, nurses. You guys use this one. <laughs> Leave this one alone. Unless that guy's like, yeah, I got to drop a deuce. And I'm using the most uh, secluded private bathroom. And I don't blame you, brother. Especially in public. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's go back down here. How's internal medicine working out for us? This is terrible. Like, the, the cleaning here is just out of control. Get this done. I might need to hire another worker or cleaner or something, rather, right? I mean, but we're making money, right? Let's see how we did for that entire day. So, um, recap. Emergency clinic. Lost us money. Yeah. We lost money through emergency clinic. That's bad. Radiology in the micro lab loses us money regardless. Um, internal medicine technically made us some money, $290 or the pedics or the pedics made us $200 in the clinic, but made us $10,000 in hospitalization. Cardiology in the clinic made us big, big bucks and administration administration made us some money, right? Pharmacy gift shop. If there was if of any. And all like that, right? Um, now, daily interest here is that affecting us by any 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 standards, right? Is this affecting us by any bit? I feel like we're gonna be sitting in a place where we're gonna have to take out more loans just to get things ramped up, which could be the all of end all to us, right? It could be the very end of us if that were to happen. Let's see what happens here. They are missing a pharmacy. Yep, there we go. Yep, and yep. Can you have, like, can you tell your janitors to, to like, like, prioritize a room or something? I don't know if that's possible. Okay, where's the reception at? Like, why are you taking so long? Thank you for the long commute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ding dong. A couple of doctors are going to be talking to people. Let's see what's wrong with this guy. Jordan Adams. Fracture of finger. He's got to go to orthopedics. Yeah. Cool. So micro labs, do they work at night? They do work at night. Okay. This is finally done. We can finally get like change this. Good God. How long has this been like overdue? Uh, no, uh, give me, there we go. Give me a different color. There we go. That, that has been long overdue. Thank you there. Okay. This is dirty as well. Yeah. We just don't have enough workers. I don't think. Okay. So let's open up here. Cleaning closet. Radiology. I'm not. No, I'm not gonna give them a dedicated cleaning closet right now. I'm not. I'm not even in those. I'm not even the slight mood of being that generous. I gotta make money now. 
Daily news. Patient numbers back to normal. Thank you. Best news of all time. <laughs> so, if we really wanted to, the next major step in this is unlocking cardiology, uh, cardiology hospitalization. It's going to take a lot of money. Um, well, is it though? Diagnostic unit? Yeah, it is. Yeah, it, it's going to take a lot of money. It's still, yeah, it's going to take a, a, a buttload of money. So much money. That's why you have to have the question, like, do you, do you ask yourself, do you do more loans? Like, I don't know what the loan cap is. And I don't know if it's normal in a game like this. And maybe you guys can let me know in the comment section. But is it normal to take a lot of loans out in this game? Now, the reason why I'm a little kind of nervous about it, personally, is because in some games, it's not normal to take out a lot of loans. Some games. But is this the kind of game where it's like, yes, you cannot start fully until you get these loans. You need to have these loans. These loans will help you um, make this hospital into something, right? Because technically now we are a hospital, believe it or not, because we have this. This is what makes us a hospital now. We have now transformed ourselves from a clinic to a hospital. Look at this, though. One thing that's worrisome about this is you can see it for yourself. Nobody is here. Not a single person is here for hospitalization. And that's money not well spent. <laughs> it is money well spent, but you, you, you know what I'm talking about. This is killing me. Thank you. Thank you. Is that the janitor? Oh, thank God. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. That was going to like, I was, I was going to. Yeah. I could open up a pharmacy in the orthopedics, but that's very unnecessary for me to do. We're, we're not living lavishly over here. So during... Oh, God. During the nighttime, the clinic still cost us a lot of money. Cardiology helped us during the night. Administrative almost even did, too. The fact that clinic, the emergency clinic, is starting to now lose us money. And that could be due to too many doctors. Too many doctors in the emergency clinic. Let's see here. Let's let's monitor this. How many people come through here a day? How many doctors are constant? I guess like there is a constant flow of patients. Yeah. I mean, all the doctors here are busy. They are. They are busy. This, this right here, this, this little reception, this is pointless. This is absolutely pointless. I feel like there's no need for that. I feel like this could save us a little bit of money and that little tiny space we could do be better with, right? Let's see here. What do we got going on here for eternal medicine? $540 for what? Uh, this is for hiso to hiso his histoplasmosis his what the hell is that cave disease respiratory disease caused by the fungus that mainly affects the lungs that's terrible <laughs> oh my god I'm sorry Brooke five hundred forty dollars I'm not that sorry this is the guy from whose line is it anyway okay this is not the guy from that what are you looking at? You're looking at potential shingles or malaria? Doctor, bring them in. What do we have for you? One of them will give us $90. The other will give us $180. Okay, it's $180. Very small. Not a big deal. Take your cream and go. Right? Okay. Right. This is, yeah, this is, this is done. This is, this is done. I'm, 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 I'm through with it. Get out of here. I'm done with it. Yep. Okay, my good man, I'm so sorry to do this to you, Mr. Frank Young. But you have now been dismissed. Fired. You are fired. Orthopedic receptionist. This does not 
exist anymore. Yeah. There's no point for it. It's never used. We don't need it. Right? We're not in a dire state in the orthopedic department here. Most of the people can come in and check in through reception in the emergency clinic, get transferred over to orthopedics. Orthopedics then sends them upstairs, right? This, this, there was no point. Not even upset. So that helps us out a little bit, kind of. Not, it's like it's it's very marginal, but it does help us out. Our money right now is actually coming in pretty heavily. What do we got going on upstairs? Anything going on upstairs? No patients. Not a single person hospitalized today and yesterday. Is everyone like on their good, like good day? Like having a good day? Like good for you, but like pay up your local hospital. <laughs> 28 grand. I have a decision to make. Do I pay back my loan or do I continue doing what I'm doing as far as like expanding? Because now cardiology is something that I need to think about. And I need to think quick. And I need to find a solution to this, right? It's going to cost a lot of money. It's going to cost a lot of days. Um, this is where a potential person can come out. And then they can be into cardiology here. Um, all and so forth. And, and, and whatnot, right? Yeah. The um, This is kind of the area, though. This is the area that I'm going to make the cardiology come into. Maybe with the 28,000, you know what? I'll fast forward for right now and I'll keep earning as much money as I can before the shift ends. And I'm going to start planning out our cardiology hospitalization. I am. I'm going to start doing that next. Because I believe that will bring in a lot of money. The only problem with it, <laughs> and I know what you're thinking already. Believe me, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, yeah, you can bring that in. But my guy... Then you have a chance of death, right? Then you have a chance of death. I'm kind of like doing, I, I'm kind of doing things backwards in a way, right? I feel like I am. I'm, I'm doing things backwards. Uh, differential diagnosis. No doctor qualified to prescribe. Sorry. Um, you know what, Barbara? Hang on a sec. Barbara. 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 Change this. Thank you. Um, and then clipboard me out, please. Clipboard me out, please, sweetheart. No, no, no. Clipboard or whiteboard. You already have a whiteboard. Never mind. Uh, right. Let's go back to that guy, though. We'll, we'll, we'll send him to another doctor just for now. No, no, no. Back to, back to normal. Back to normal, my good man. Okay. And Barbara. Uh, go to... Uh, go to David. Go to David Davis. Go to David Davis. See what David Davis can get you. I'm sure David Davis can really help you out here, Paul. Come on, Paul. Come on, Paul. There you go. Oh, he left. All right, good for you. Whatever. Anyways, we're coming up on seconds here. I'm a little nervous. Yeah, I'm a little nervous, but it can really bring in a lot of money. Right? Cardiologists. Now, maybe, maybe, hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. Maybe, maybe uh, there isn't too much of a high risk of, like, there is a high risk of death. But if it's a plan surgery that someone comes in for then it it's less likely to die than like icu or something possibly i don't know i'm kind of just trying to to reach at something here right so let's see how we do this so when we come over here cardiology is going to be right here so let's go into cardiology let's see what we have here we're gonna have Oh god, this is gonna be a freaking mind. I'm gonna break my skull thinking about all this. Okay, hang on a sec. Let's do this. It's gonna cost a lot of money. I hate to do this, but we have to do it. We have to make a move, right? We always do. Okay, let's go here. Let's plan this out. So this is where the hallway would start, kind of, right? And then we can go out that way. Right? Hmm this come out this way this will probably eventually turn into something else because i do want to plan i plan on do some putting something back there what is our what is our thing here it's one two three four five okay one two three four five and then go all the way up with it okay hallway uh when you come out 
of the elevator, you're going to have to make an immediate U-turn, right? You got to make an immediate U-turn. That's not a big deal. And then you're going to be greeted with cardiology here. This is going to be the cardiology uh, hallway, you could say. And we'll kind of block that off that way. That off that way. So when you come into cardiology hallway, you are then greeted by different areas. <laughs> oh my god, I'm winging it. <laughs> um, right. Get me into cardiology. Cardiology into a diagnostic unit. Prefab me up, baby. Maybe that will be my, my go-to here. Cardiology into a... Um, well, we're going to need a nurse's station. We're going to need an on-call room and, and so on and so forth. We're going to need a regular... Okay, diagnostic unit. $4,800, $4,000. So a diagnostic unit is the first thing that we need to get. Let's do that. So first things first. You come in. You get a diagnostic unit here. Okay. Once you get the diagnostic unit there, you then have a sono, 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 you have a sono unit right there. Okay. <clears throat> How are we looking? <laughs> How are we looking so far? Can we see? Can we see? Uh, then you need a, a cardiography unit. A cardiography unit, which is going to go right there. Okay. And then across the hallway, which is five wide, right? Five wide. Across the hallway. Let's actually delete some of this. Let's go to our walls now. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Across the hallway is where you'll have your surgery table, right? You'll have your surgery room. Let's see here. Cardiology. Um, operating room. Sorry. Surgery room, operating room, whatever the hell it is. This is where the operation will go down. Right here. No, right there. No, right here. No, right here. Right here. Okay. I'm putting it up against that elevator. You see that? I'm putting up it against that elevator so that we can funnel traffic one way. That's what I want. I want traffic to funnel one way if they're coming into cardiology. That's why I'm putting it up against the elevator there. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. 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 $25,000. I, I should have thought twice before I placed that one down. I'll be straight with you. <laughs> okay. That was a lot of money, dude. Okay. That's all right. That's all right. That's fine. I know you're like, holy shit. Uh, damn. Yeah, I'll, I'll be real with you. I was not expecting that either. Um, okay. Well, I should have expected it, but, like, I know what you're thinking. You're like, you son of a gun. That's okay. That's all right. We're fine. I do kind of want to line that up a little bit if I can, but I'm so in debt right now, right? You know what? It's my playthrough. F it. How much money can we take? Give me a hundred thousand dollars more. Let's build this son of a gun. Let's do it. Let's get let's get wild. Right? Is this is this the disaster? Maybe. Is this the all of end all? Maybe. Or is this the greatest decision you've ever made? Freaking maybe. <laughs> okay. Um <laughs> I'll tell you, man, if I don't have anybody to laugh at, I, I laugh at myself for the most part, right? Okay, foundation there. Great job. So this is what I want to do. I want to funnel these people this way. If they're coming to cardiology and orthopedic, I guess it's a shortcut to orthopedics too. Uh, let's go ahead and build a wall out so that these people don't fly off the side of the building either. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Okay, good job. All right. Go back to the prefab. Back to the prefab. Okay. Nurses station, on-call station is going to be the next hard thing to do. Um, so let's go... Let's go on-call room for 50 no for forty five hundred dollars and we'll put the on-call room right 
Right here. Right there. On call room. Right there. And what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. And we're actually going to um, break this out into a hallway now. We're going to make it ourselves, right? We're going to go down with it. Come through here. Good job. Good job. Okay. And this will start to be our wing-ish where our uh, wards will go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our wards. Okay, so we have the on-call room. We're going to need nurse's station. $5,600. 7000 $5,600. Nurse's station. Where would the nurse's station go? Well, I want the nurse's station to go somewhat close. I mean, dare do I put it close to the... Do I want the nurse's station to be by the operating room? Because it has the stretchers. Right? It does have the stretchers. I don't know if this is a smart place to put it, but I'm putting it there. There's not really other other places I really want to put it. But we'll do that for now, I guess. Whatever. Okay, we'll do that. Now, come back over here. Prefab me up. We need a... Uh, well, we need a restroom. We absolutely need a restroom. So we're going to put a restroom that's going to slide in just like a freaking glove. Right there. Perfect. Okay. Now, we're going to go ahead and not put a cleaning closet. <laughs> we will put a cleaning closet, just not anytime soon. Actually, hang on a sec. Cleaning closet. How big is that son of a gun? Four by six? Will that slide in right there, you think? No. I'll make my own. I'll make my own. Thank you. Okay. Regular ward. Uh, high dependency unit. HDUs. It's tough. Uh... HD regular wards. How much are that? Twenty six hundred dollars. Regular single. You know what? Seventy one hundred dollars ward. Regular ward. We'll put right there. Um, high dependency units. We'll place kind of going this way, and we'll line them up this way, in a way. Now, that doesn't give me much room for future expansion, though, for rooms. Now, doesn't it? Not off the bat, but we're going to do that. We'll put the one right there, one right there, and one right there. Then we'll come back to more ward. Where are you at, ward? Where are you at? Um, Like a regular... You could put, like, a single ward right there if you wanted to. Um, You know, things like that. Four, four, three, three, three. I think this is okay for now. I think this is a good, a good basis for now. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a decent, it's a decent ride, right? It's a decent ride for now. Okay, so then we want to take our, our orthopedics and we want to bring it up to here. There we go. Cardiology is gonna be red. I mean, it's, it's not a freaking, you know, it, it's not a secret, right? It's gonna be red. Let's make everything white here. Sorry if you hear my Discord popping off. I did not realize at 1 in the morning, my Discord would be popping off. You're recording at 1 in the morning? Yeah. You don't even want to know the half of it. Yeah. Okay. Um, right. So, now, I'm going to go ahead and go into cardiology. And I'm going to make myself a cleaning closet. That cleaning closet. Perfectly right there. Perfect, 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 perfect. Or however that, you know, if you've seen that, just perfect, 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 perfect. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Anyways, if you don't know what I mean, you probably think I'm a friggin' idiot. You know what? Respect. Okay. This. Go here. That out. Take that out. One thing that we're missing, though. Very crucial. Visitation. We're missing. We're missing. We're missing. We're missing visitation. Now, I'm hoping that I can put, like, a nice visitor sta station or a lounge. Is that a lounge? Yeah, that's considered a lounge. I'm hoping I can slide that in right there. And I can't. I can't. Um, yeah, all right. That's okay. We can turn this into a lounge. This isn't a big deal. We can, we can turn that into a lounge. And we probably will. Honestly, we will. So, I am so sorry. 
the freaking discord is out of control i am super sorry um uh common wait this is a lounge sorry i'm looking at the wrong place here lounge yes lounge this will be our lounge okay this is accessible don't worry about it. it is accessible this will be accessible through a door a, a double uh uh a sliding double doors glass doors okay and we will add visitors table okay right how do we put this okay right there right there right there and then we'll add like a vending machine i guess you know what no we'll put the vending machine outside put the vending machine outside everything else could be like a freaking prison on the inside i just need it to be practical i just need it to work baby that's all i need it to do okay and we'll come back over here get our uh, go thing on here yep there we go okay 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 now that we've dipped into this we want red Now you are in potentially red hell, right? Now you are in the cardiology unit. This is how you know, because it's red. <laughs> it's amazing, is it? I know I've kind of right, went a little off track here, a little bit off track. And what I mean by that is um, I was working on that cleaning closet and now I'm not, you know, so there we go, we'll go this way. Okay, and then this way, flip it, and then go up this way, this way to that, and there, and then bring it back down. Perfect. Back down this way. Okay, cool. Now we are in the cardiology section. Okay. <sighs> okay, let's see here. Let's go now with the walls, and let's make sure nobody flies off and out of our hospital. On that side, let's come over here and let's put in a shelf, a couple shelves, and a bucket. Awesome. And then a door. There's a regular door. Bam. And then some, you know, obviously some, <laughs> like, flooring, obviously. We'll do a little bit of flooring here. Cool. And then we'll finish off everything else here with flooring. Did you expect to click on today's episode and find yourself in the cardiology unit and us like building a cardiology hospitalization department? Probably yes, because I probably teased it in the thumbnail and or title. So scratch that. Never mind. You did expect it. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go off that way. Good job. Okay. This is, this is, this is technically ready to go yeah i think it's ready to go right is there oh crap i forgot to put flooring in here for these people you know what put wood flooring in it make it a little bit cozier than what it is um is it ready to go cardiology okay hospitalization is ready to go the only thing that we need to do now is we need to hire people and hire doctors and, and so on and so forth okay so what do we have here um i'm not ready for the nurse I'm not ready for that. I am ready for the doctors. Okay, so we want to get three daytime doctors who are good in cardiology. We want to get th one surgeon. We only need one surgeon, technically, I guess. Uh, sorry. Yeah, one surgeon. Uh, we have the best surgeon that we could possibly get right now, and that's Margaret Lewis. This is the time to look and see what the hidden perks are. People, person, very good. All needs are reduced much slower. You're a Spartan. Very good. Get hired. You are now our surgeon. Okay, next doctor. Uh, we need an anesthesiologist. That's correct. The best an anesthesiologist that you have around, that is Linda Wright, who is apparently a clean freak. Clean feet freak. Very good. Uh, next, who do we need? I guess another surgeon. I mean, technically, we don't. We're, we're good. You know, a different d diagnostics. Yeah, that's probably the way to go. Let's go for someone with different diagnostics. Maybe he could like help us out there. David Rodriguez, get hired. Okay, these are our daytime doctors. Now, nighttime doctor. Sorry, the nighttime doctor here. 
And where are we leading here? Really a cardiology, cardiologist, sorry, uh, with advanced diagnostics, who apparently is an alcoholic and is a good boss. Oh, good boss. Improve satisfaction of supervised colleagues every morning. Now, this would be good, but not for nighttime, because you ain't bossing nobody around. But we'll, we'll hire him. So Richard, Richard Young is probably someone you want as chief doctor, yeah? So chief doctor, Richard Young, question mark? Who's the boss? Achievement unlock? I guess so. Okay. Um, that's our nighttime doctor. Okay, cool. Now, uh, switching now back over to here, daytime. Uh, you know what? Hang on. Let's go to let's go to uh, surgery or surgeons first. Okay, so nursery surgery, uh, medical surgery for nurses, right? Karen Brown, way to be a Karen. Get hired. Um, one more. Uh, I need you to be this. Ooh, Karen, another Karen. Back to back Karens. Cool. <laughs> All righty. And then just another nurse for potentially just patient care, if anything, please. Patient care, 44%, 44% receptionist, medical surgery, uh, resistance, um, fast. Yeah, get hired, James. James Keen. Okay, now it's time for our USG. Uh, cardio tech, USG maybe. Um, James Young. If Paul Scott, you know, James Young, he's cheaper. All right, so we have a cardio tech. Now, USG, sorry, I think I mixed that up. I think I said that wrong before. We'll hire Susan. We're really going off of the, like, hopeful hopeful best here. Nighttime nurse now. We need a nighttime nurse with a huge patient care. 43%, 28% clinical nurse specialist. That's not bad, I think, right? What's clinical nurse specialist? Is capable of revealing appearances of patient symptoms. F. Uh, like, that makes any sense to me. Um, William Young. That's the best that we can get right now. We'll, we'll get that in. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. We have now officially unlocked hospitalization for cardiology. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. So now with $200,000 being in debt, will this pay off overall? We're going to find out here. I'm going to let the game run through. We're going to get hit hard here, right? Or did we already get hit hard? Anyways, all I know is that we're on to the next day. And I know this episode is like one of the longest episodes of all time. But I have to get it in. I have to get it in. And I got to see where this cardiology is going to go. Now, this is nighttime, right? We don't, there's nothing we can do about the nighttime. The nighttime, it is what it is. So, I mean, we're here. We're in it. Now, one thing here, though. Can they access this elevator? I really hope they can. You know what? Let's just, like, try to give them a little bit more space. Just a little bit more space. Oh, my God. My Discord is driving me nuts right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I don't know who is messaging me or what it, what's going on there. Okay. There we go. Okay. There we go. It will come back out. Take that out. There we go. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and just like color it white for right now. Good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. One thing that we don't have over here though is we don't have a staff room break. That's going to be sucky. We don't, do we? Okay. Interesting. <clears throat> well, that's okay because we can we can buy one. Can we afford it? Probably not. But can we You know, you know wait, wait a sec. We have a lounge, yeah? <laughs> I'm getting trolled on Discord, I feel like. Um Lounge is just for everyone, right? Place where visitors can meet. Yeah, that's for visitors. Nurse station, ward, on call, common room. Yeah, I don't have a common room. I'm missing the common room. F. Okay. Common room goes over here. It's plain and simple. Common room. Good job. Okay. Now they have a place to, to, to rest. 
They don't have to go downstairs. They can all stay up here. It's a very organized situation. We have orthopedics over here, cardiology over here. It, it's working wonders. Now, when our first people do come in for cardiologist surgery, I, 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 you know, we'll see. And Pulley got drunk last night. Sick, Susan. Good for you, girl. Hope it was a great time. Hope you had a wonderful time. Okay. Let's go here. Let's go there. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. These doctors and nurses are like, oh, yeah, I love this job. Nobody's here. Now, orthopedics at night. Do we have anybody here? We don't have anybody here. This is like, why? Why did our intake all of a sudden stop on orthopedics for so long now? It's like we were bumping there for a little bit in the beginning of the episode with orthopedics. And now we're like, yeah, F them. Now we don't need them. Now they don't come in. I'm just waiting for the daytime. Anybody coming in during nighttime here? How we doing? 560. You should be hospitalized. <laughs> Pay for this and be hospitalized now. What is this guy in for? Joseph Taylor. What are you in for? You you could be in here for some other things, like some big things here. Yeah, for sure. You're in here for scoliosis. All right, not that much then. 320. Like, these are very small, like, come on, game. Give me give me the surgeries. I want the surgeries. I, I don't know. You know, I know I'm kind of doing this backwards. I should have probably done an ICU first. Trauma center. Not planned surgery, but you know, I, I think in real practice, I think this is if we transformed a clinic into a hospital, I think a clinic going into surgeries first instead of taking emergency people, I think that is a smart way to go. If you're turning a little clinic into something, right? I don't know. What do you think? Okay, let's see here. Where is our cardiology gonna put us today? Come on, good man. I'm nervous. I'm a little nervous. I am, I am. So this guy, what the hell's wrong with you? What are you here for? You're here for an HHD with heart failure. Yeah. Okay. Right. Hypertensive heart disease refers to multiple complications related to high blood pressure. Okay. Uh, do you think we should hospitalize this young man? Oh, there's no waiting room available around a diagnostic room. What are you talking about, man? What are you talking about? There's not a what? There's no waiting room available around diagnostic room? Oh, oh, did I forget to put a radi- uh, sorry, a, a waiting room around here? Hang on a sec, time out. Um, oh my god, dude, drive me nuts. I am going to lose my stuff. Waiting room, where's the waiting room? I guess it's downstairs, yeah. Okay, so if we're, if we're here, if we're here, right? We can go, um, we could go here or there. Waiting rooms could be anywhere, really. It could be anywhere. It could be over here. Well, not just anywhere. I don't want to like, you know what? That's good. Right there, right there, right there. You see it? I see it. Right in front of the, in, in front of the, in front of the janitor's closet. We'll put the waiting room at least technically right there. That's a decent spot. We'll do it. It'll be fine. It's fine. Here we go. The janitor is going to be like, oh, thanks for this mess. But we're going to be like, you know what? Suck it. Who cares? Um, there we go. Might be awkward every time the janitor comes out, but it's all right. There we go. I didn't even hire a janitor yet, which is, you know, already repulsive. There we go. Put a little bit of vending machine. So they buy us a little bit, you know, spend a little money there. Um, we should probably like put these things like down the halls, just all over the place. There's a lot of decoration that needs to be going on through my, uh, through my, you know, through my hospital that I haven't really done yet. Uh, let's go ahead and hire ourselves a janitor to make sure that we have everything going good over here. This is a efficiency. Yeah, efficiency. Susan Rodriguez. That's fine. Daytime and no nighttime. No nighttime. One thing that I haven't done also is I haven't done a corridor. I have not done a corridor for cardiology. I have now done a corridor for cor cor cardiology. There we go. And then down this way then down this way very good good job okie dokie and then like this way too and 
in this way. Okay, cool. Sick. It's good. It's good enough, right? It's good enough. Very good. All right, let's see here. Oh my god. I am so sorry. I I, I am I, I don't know if you can hear it, but my Discord is literally blowing up and I hope everything is okay first of all. Second of all, if someone is <laughs> like trying to like mess with me, I'm going to lose my stuff. Oh my god. I just want to see what happens to this patient now. So, um Yo, what the heck? Here we go. What do we got going on here? Christopher Pad? $3,500. Okay. Yeah. So it's kind of same. We're kind of spending money or not spending money. We're kind of earning money just like orthopedics would in a way. It's about the, it's about hovering around the same amount. Yeah. $3,500 there. Patient is collapsing. What are you talking about? Okay, so this is the heart failure. Blue uh, blue code, code blue. These are the things that I was actually kind of uh, interested in. So we know that um, heart problems, heart people, heart conditions are going to happen, right? Oh my god, please save her. Do not die. There's no free bed for required hospitalization ICU. Here comes the ICU. Well then. Where can we push this limit? Half a million dollars. $314,000 is in our bank account. And it's available to us. And we need to bring an ICU and enable hospitalization ICU in the next episode. Thank you guys for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I do appreciate it. You have a wonderful day. This has been a long freaking episode. Do take care.